Hey, uh, Shalom, I'm uh, giving all praise unto Yahweh Shimon, Shabbat Shimon, Kwa Akwadash, Dabba Onas unto the Apostles of Great Millstone, and honestly, brothers, to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the, of the earth. So, this is going to be a relatively quick video, and um, this is going to go into the mental stability, the mindset of the prophets, and ultimately, who in these times was going to be in a, in a state of mind of being at ease, okay? Really rejoicing, right? And what we understand about the way the Lord set up the algorithm is that you're either going to be in a house of mourning or you're just going to be in a house of a, a feasting right now. You've got people out here feasting, just like in the times of Noah, they was given over unto, unto um, marriages, weddings, parties, right? Jake was partying two years ago and look what happened, right? The whole thing got shut down. And look, look who rejoiced. The men of the Lord was rejoicing. I can pull you up all types of different videos where, where, the, where the shutdown, when the shutdown came, right? The prophets were rejoicing. The same thing that we see net right now with the um with the situation between Russia and the um and the and the um the so-called Western world, right? This talk of tensions, and we know it's rumors of wars. We know the scripture was going to talk about rumors of wars, but ultimately, we're in a state of rejoicing because we know that we're getting closer to the return of our Lord. And the house of mourning, which is this kingdom, this this kingdom that's given over unto folly, that's gonna be what? That's gonna be getting burnt up. Right, food scarcity. There's potential for food scarcity. There's potential for the global supply chain being um, majorly disrupted. Of which you, Ukraine is a major exporter of grain. So this whole idea of a, a perpetual state of happiness underneath the, the ruler of Babylon, which is Esau, that's really that's 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 a dream. All right, that's a dream. Esau can't prolong his kingdom. He can't prolong his uh, um, uh, rulership. Right, Esau is going to be destroyed. And as we see the, the the house of Esau and, and, and the empire of Esau being destroyed, the men of the Lord are going to be very stable. But to them that have given themselves over unto folly, you're going to be very unstable. And we can start here within the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, and read from about the 20th verse. Proverbs, the, the first chapter, and around about the 20th verse, it says, 21st verse, uh, 20th verse, wisdom cry up without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. And we've been in the streets telling you all of these things was going to come to pass. Sure enough, we told you about the Russian thing. Sure enough, we told you about FEMA and, and the camps of which you concentrate in. We told you all about that. And lo and behold, they're out there within the, within the world. Look what's happened. Look what happened with Canada. Look what happened out there within Australia when they was apprehending those Aborigines. So you had all kinds of situations that the, the men of the Lord, the prophets, have spoken about in great detail. Right? We, we brought you out the scriptures. We said, look, this, this is what the scripture says. This is what's going to play out within the earth. And lo and behold, it played out within the earth. OK, because the wisdom, the wisdom of the Lord was out there within the streets. The scripture says the Mosai was going to reveal his secrets unto the prophets. Therefore, the prophets was going to rejoice when these prophecies come to pass. When these prophecies of the Lord was going to come to pass, you better know that these things. Sorry, when these prophecies was going to come to pass, you better believe that the man of the Lord was going to be rejoicing because the, the words that we was hanging on for dear life. Right. When 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 things got difficult, we look to these scriptures and we say, OK, yeah, this kingdom is going to be destroyed. You might have lost your job. You might have lost your woman. Your woman might have done uh, committed adultery on you. You read, you know, we recount all of those particular acts and burns you to the court, right? You might have got, you know, uh, 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 totally disrespected at the job when they, the, by the way they, they they made you lose the job. Whatever the situation may be, we understand all of those events were for for the um, humi um there was humiliation for our humility and the humility leading unto the meekness spoken about within the book of Psalms 37, 37 chapter was to them that was going to receive the kingdom. So therefore, when when these things was going to play out within the earth, the righteous was going to rejoice. Now, ultimately, we, hey, no matter what the situation is, we're going to we're going to do the work of the Lord. Whether it, whether it be raining, uh, you know, whether, whether we'll, be, we'll be getting to the day when it will be raining ICBMs out there, we're going to push the word up until the Lord takes us off the streets. Or when things are so cold, quote unquote, good, we're going to be out there teaching the word. That's our purpose. But we know that the wisdom was going to be out there. And the scripture says that what? How long you simple ones will you love simplicity? And these simple minded Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, they have, they have indulged in simplicity. Right? The scripture talks about how folly is set in great dignity. I believe I quoted that a little bit, a little bit earlier. Sure enough, Jake has been indulging in folly. They've been indulging in stupidness. Here it is, all of these things now are coming to pass and Jake is still trying to talk about some NBA, talk about some, you know, uh, what happened at the Super Bowl. Okay? Jake is totally, totally, totally in a simple state of mind. But we know that the, the, the prophets of the Lord, the elect of the Heavenly Father, they was going to know the, the, the prophecies. They was going to be speaking about the prophecies. Doesn't know the scripture say within the book of Second Peter, the third chapter, what manner or, or, or what manner of mind or you ought to be in. 
in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for unto the coming day of the heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, our Shai, Son, Yahweh Shai, to redeem us from the earth. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in scorning, and the fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof, right? So when you was going to be reproved, you was going to get cursed out by the men of the Lord out there on the streets. You're supposed to turn at the reproval of the men of the Lord. But we know these Jakes, simple minded Negroes, Hispanic Native Americans, to whom it was not bestowed the um the mindset to haste within these times, they wasn't gonna turn at the reproof of the Heavenly Father. They wasn't gonna understand the words of the Heavenly Father. And so therefore, as we're gonna see within the scriptures, as the world gets tense, right, food gets scarce, uh supply of particular goods becomes more difficult to the end that Mark the thirteenth chapter is gonna be fulfilled, famines is gonna be within the earth. Sure enough, the men of the Lord is going to be stable. The men of the Lord are going to read. And, uh, uh, we, we've been think, we've been speaking about this one, two, we've been preaching this, three, we live this, okay. And ultimately, we've lived this. We've we've gone through this. All right, the, the, the ancient prophets of the Lord, they've gone through these things, and we believe we 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 uh, we we believe ourselves to be the same individuals coming back within the earth. So therefore, when when instability was going to be seen within the earth, you're going to see that the men of the Lord was going to be very stable. And we're going to read that scripture in a second. Because I refused and you, because I called and you refused, and I stretched out my hand and all my regarded. But you have said not all of my counsel I would, and none of my reproof. I will also laugh at you, come calamity, and mock when your fear cometh. So these these jakes, man, right? And also too, I mean, ultimately you you jakes, but we know these people too. They're gonna suffer, but they they ain't got no means of redemption. They can't get back unto the heavenly Father, right? Um, right, okay. Let me get one more one more verse from this. Uh, 32. Proverbs 1 and 32 says, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. So you turned away the, the, the hand of the Lord. So that's going that's that was going to be a downfall. Let's put the word stability in there. Okay, all of these secrets have been revealed to the to the men of the Lord, man. And and we're gonna be very stable in these times that we're living in right now. We're gonna be very stable. Isaiah 33 and 6 it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength, and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So in these times of unsta instability, instability, Salakia, you was going to see one group of people being very stable, right? Just casually going through it. Now, we might get excited about particular things, but ultimately, we're just like, yeah, we told you about that. But did you think it wasn't going to come to pass? Doesn't the scripture say that the, the word of the Lord is quick and powerful? Shepherd and, sorry, don't know the scripture say that the words go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. That's the word of the Lord. It wasn't going to return back unto the heavenly father void. It was going to accomplish that where unto it pleases the heavenly father, Yahabashim al Shai. So that's the video, man. Uh, with that, I must say, oh, praise unto Yahabashim al Shai, Bashim Kwa, Kudash, double honors unto the apostles of the great millstone, and honest to be pushing his truth sincerely. Shalom.